That's fascinating. Yeah. Now, are you using like a standard l- large language model? Or are you? Do you have like a, a specific structure that's built that interfaces with large language? Correct. So we use. Um, well, we can use pretty much any of the LLMs, but right now we find that OpenAI is the best for us, at least. And then we create an agentic overlay, uh, basically what's called you probably know chain of thought, mm-hmm. which is a series of questions. So how we taught it was we basically came up. Here's a here's a hundred kinds of questions a scientist would ask about the immune system. And then we tell ChatGPT, now create a thousand questions like this. So, you know, that's artificial uh, data or artificial questions. We curate those to make sure that they're good. Then we do a hundred hypotheses and we create thousands of types of hypotheses, et cetera, and the same for tests. Uh, that you might run. So now, from A to Z, we have uh, an agentic AI that you give it raw data, it knows what to do with the data, it then generates hypotheses for you, and then it literally tells you the kinds of experiments you should do next to prove or disprove the hypothesis from the raw data. It's a genius in the lab with you. Exactly. Is is OpenAI learning from this agentic AI? Oh, yeah. So there, there's a mutually beneficial yeah. relationship. Yeah. I mean, we're not working with them directly uh, but on But you it. use it, and we because use you it. use it with your AI, right. it's, it's benefiting from it. And we first thought to turn it into a company, because that's kind of one of the things we do in my lab, is if, because I've always thought that it's important to give back to the taxpayer the money that they've invested in us. Uh, and the best way to do that is commercialization. I'm totally uh, you know, unapologetic about that, even though that got me in a lot of trouble at Stanford in the early days uh, when you know, making money was, you know, commercialization was evil, um, and even at Stanford. And so uh, I think that that's an important process because s- scientists are good at asking maybe the questions and coming up with solutions, but scientists aren't the best at commercializing it and turning it into a product that can be used or testing it, you know, in large um, communities. So the AI that we developed, we thought, okay, well, maybe we can do this. We thought, you know what? AI is moving so fast. Why don't we just give this to the community? Why don't we open source this? We can use it for maybe specific targeted purposes, but we're basically going to publish the whole thing on GitHub. Uh, to let other people use it. Because we've seen other people make claims about stuff that they've already made, and it's like, oh, ours is better. So why don't we just put it on GitHub and let people learn from it?